In this video, you will see how to import a geolocalized DWG with the civil engineer role and building and civil assembly and 2D layout for 3D design apps. First of all, I have a geolocated environment with my design, a building that I have imported through the IFC format. It could also have been a design I did directly in Katia. I have also imported the OpenStreetMap environment through the import OSM command. Geolocation has been set and I can check it using the Open in Web Map option. Now I will create a new site, a container for the 2D data I would like to import in my session. This could be existing utilities, infrastructure, any 2D data relevant for my project that I would like either to use to create 3D data, either to project this in my drawing as we will see later on. Let's check first the option for my DXF and DWG import. I can set the units and map the layers with 2D layout for 3D design sheets, the app that I will use. 2D layout for 3D design allow you to create 2D that you will visualize in the 3D environment and drive the 3D design from a drawing. I will import a geolocated DWG using the insert from file command. All the layers have been imported with their correct colors and line types and I can visualize the 2D inside my 3D environment. The geolocated DWG has its origin located on the coordinate reference system of the project. Since it is more than 5000 km south of the geometry, Katia has automatically moved the geometry closer to the origin to respect the large range limits. The translation information has been saved in a CAT report and you can then use those ones to geolocate properly your DWG inside Katia. Now, the OSM data and the DWG are perfectly superposed. I can hide the 2D OSM data and work in a mixed environment adding 3D and 2D data. Now, let's see how I can generate a 2D drawing of my design and project the DWG context on it. I insert first a new 3D shape in my work breakdown structure. I can then create a new 2D layout for 3D design to show my building in the context of the geolocated DWG. After setting the scale of the sheet, I create the principal views. My design in blue is now in its 2D context. Finally, if required, I can create directly a drafting from my 2D layout and will still keep all the colors and line types from the original DWG.